So a busy week this week for the team with Luton first on Saturday and joining me today to talk about this week's games is Lee Tomlin. Thanks for coming in. Thank Tom you very up. much. How are you? I'm good, very good. Yeah, and things are going pretty well with yourself at the moment, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. It's been a good 2020 so far, obviously starting with that contract extension. Yeah, for me it was obviously, I've always wanted to stay. Start of the season, it didn't look like that. Came back fit and I'd worked hard over the summer to try and do everything I can to get back in the team. But obviously took a few losses at the start of the season to get back in. Um, and the gaffer, well, will not chuck me back in. Obviously Neil Harris pushing that contract extension through, keeping you here until summer of 2022. A lot of positive feedback on the back of that from the fans, as I'm sure you saw. Likewise with questions this week, I mean, you've certainly got the backing of the supporters. That must be great. For you, for me, that's that's one. Of, like, I know pe pe players say it all the time with the fans and this that, and the other, but they they are really special to me. Like, like I say, for me, not really playing for two whole years and going to Forest on loan and going to Peterborough and still coming back and they still support me and things like that. It's that is special, and it, it's obviously only fans like this that that have, would probably do that to players that have came in, have done nothing but still supporting me 100%. And you've said in previous interviews that you've always wanted to give back to the fans and your stats so far this season, putting you up there at the top of the scoring charts, suggests that that certainly is the case. And you've done well assist-wise. You must, you must be really pleased with your form. Yeah, I don't think I've ever been this consistent in my career, to be fair. When people talk about age and things like that, it's like, and I think Ronaldo's come out and said about it, it's just a number. Mm. Um, it really is, if, as long as you feel well in yourself and. Uh, honest with yourself, then you can give 100%. And like I say, for me now is, I think, the best of my career. No, that's good to hear. Assist-wise then, so obviously you've got six to your name so far this season. Let's talk about who's had the best of the season so far, because yours versus Leeds was pretty impressive, but so did Will on Tuesday night against Reading. So who would you say has had the best assist of the season so far at the two of you? I'm not going to be biased, but yeah, definitely me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should ask Robert. He's on the receiving end of both of them, so. I think if he Maybe was honest as well, it'd be He'd definitely still me. say you. Yeah, being honest. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to the, back to the game. So Luton, Huddersfield, and Wigan now in the next week. Uh, actually, the next four of our games are against teams in the bottom five of the uh, table. So, what degree of encouragement, if any, does that give you? Are these games that you can really capitalise on now? You'd like to say yes, and I think the fans will look at it and say yes. But it really is a cliche in this league. It's anyone can beat anyone. It really can like. It's just you just don't know what you're going to get from your own self as a team or a team away. Like um, it could all just click for somebody else or you, and that's that's obviously. Hopefully for us it's a bit easier to click and kick on, um, especially lower teams obviously let more goals in and lose more games. Um, so hopefully we can, uh, but they're still going to be very, very tough games. But as, at the same time though, as much as we're fighting for those playoff positions, they've got an awful lot to fight for in themselves, haven't they, to avoid relegation? Yeah, like, like I say, it's, it's whoever deals with the pressure the best, I suppose, um, but for us, we can at least go out there and enjoy ourselves. We're doing well. Um, and like I say, it's, it's a big three, four games. Luton have conceded the most goals so far this season. Obviously, they're right down their rock bottom at the bottom of the table. 65 goals they've conceded. Is this a, a great opportunity now to, to add to the scoring sheet and notch that tally up? I've looked at it and that's what I want to do um, personally as well. And like I say, you, you do obviously, you. Ex the fans expect it, we expect it, but we know what we have to do. We have to roll up our sleeves and battle for 60 minutes and hopefully that's when we can go and play after that and hopefully get the three points. But yeah, obviously there's a lot of goals they've conceded, so we need to capitalise on it. So you're expecting a hard-fought battle now on Saturday, because down the other end of the pitch is a different story. Their uh, attacking has been, been decent this season. Yeah, it's, it's one of those, obviously they've got hell of a lot to lose. Um, it's always tough going back down to League One. Um, but even this morning we've, we've, we've looked at the players they've got and they've got some very good players. Um, I played against them last season as well and 
they're a very good team in the way they pass the ball and keep it. Um, but for us, obviously, we need to win and try and score as many as we can. OK, right, we're going to head over to some fan questions now. So I don't know if you kept your eye on uh, socials have you over the past couple of days. You haven't no, seen any I of them yet. Retweeted things. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. We'll start with our first one then. Uh, Nathan CCFC wants to know how happy are you with your current form and how much do the fans? You've already touched upon it, but how much do the fans have an impact on you and your performance? Yeah, for me, it was obviously wanted to stay, um, and the fans were a massive part of that. And then when I think the gaffer came in and he knew, he knew the relationship I had with the fans, he wanted me to stay. Um, and, and, and to be fair, when he's walked in, that's, that's the only intentions I've had. Uh, not, not wanting to leave and, and just, just enjoy playing. Well, get back playing and enjoying it. Anderson Cheng wants to know, what do you do to motivate or relax yourself before a game? I'm always relaxed. I don't... Quite I don't, a chilled yeah, person, really. I don't, really. don't get nervous. It's, it's a game of football when you look at it in the deeper things in life, it's, it's a game of football, you go enjoy it. Why do you want to put yourself under more pressure? So no superstitions, no rituals, no yeah. food you have to eat? No. Uh, for me, it's, superstitions is like everything right foot first or right leg first and things like that. Do you do all that? Yeah, it's quite you, bad. Oh, so it is, you do yeah, awesome. But not right boot first, right shin pad first. Yeah, right sock. Right arm in first. Right sock, left sock, yeah, <laughs> I swear I'm so bad. It's quite hard to remember them all as well. <laughs> <laughs> Three little bluebirds next. They want to know, out of all the screamers you've scored for us, which one is your favourite? I don't know. No, none spring to mind? You don't recall any of them and think, good goal? Particularly good goal. They're all good goals. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I, en I enjoyed the Barnsley one at home. Um, I think just because it was what, 94th minute, 92nd minute winner. Coming from 2-1 down as well, set Wardy up just before that and then scored the winner. So yeah, like, that was a good one, but I, mean, I enjoy scoring for Cardiff. That's... You do enjoy a late goal as well, don't you? Yeah. It, well, Keep the drama going. Well, it's normally hard before that. I'm normally off by 65 minutes. <laughs> uh, let's talk about free kicks then. Obviously, you delivered a cracking free kick last week there. Evans07 is asking, have you got any tips for free kicks? I guess you're the right guy to ask. Just, it depends how far you are out. For me, if you're that close, just you've got to look at the keeper and just, just get it over the wall. That's definitely it's, easier said than done. You can't just say you just get it over the wall. If you're that close, it's like to be fair, even the other day Rooney went and done it. I know it's different, it's with Wayne Rooney. Um, you, there's not much into it when you're close, but obviously when you get further out and then the, the keeper starts a bit more central and you have to whip it and pace and that's when you start talking to Beckham and things like that. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> well, I was going to say, do you get nervous in those circumstances? You sound quite confident in your ability to deliver. Do you um, get nervous? No, uh, no, don't get nervous. There's do you no spend point. a lot of time practising? Never practise. You don't practise? Never practise. It's weird, it's just one of those, but even taking the free kick, I had Benno and Will over it and they said, oh, this is my range, I'm scoring it. I looked at them both to go, oh, yeah, OK. And I just put it in the top corner. Thankfully you did. Thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> and our last, our last question comes from Ellis Lewis, um, who's asking, what's been your favourite moment at Cardiff so far this season? I th think just, just signing the contract. I think that, for me, is where I can literally fully concentrate on keeping fit and playing games and enjoying it now. And like I say, with a manager like this, that's what he wants me to do. This is peace of mind, if anything, for you to build yeah, upon. Yeah, definitely. And you just know what you're doing day-to-day uh, -day life. OK. Well, that's it from us, question-wise. Thanks for coming in, Lee. Thank and you. all the best for the coming week. Thank Three games. Much. Nine points, please. A couple <laughs> more goals. <laughs> That's it from us. As always, keep an eye on all of our socials. We'll let you know who we've got in next week and you can send in more questions. Thanks for watching.